Netherlands. Now from Turkey, Ms. Talia Ozdemir, uh, Girls for Girls in Science. Good morning, Your Royal Highness Princess Dr. Nesin Al Hashemite, Your Excellency Dr. Helena Dali, Ms. Lakshmi Puri, Deputy Executive Director of United Nations Women, ladies and gentlemen. I am Talia Özdemir and I have come from Turkey to share with you my thoughts on this very important day that honors women in science achievements and contribution to to the world's development and encourages girls like me to choose science as a career. The United Nations has over 100 international important days. I and my fellow students has, uh, have heard of, of, uh, of very few of these days. Unless a woman in science, Her Royal Highness Princess Dr. Nesrin al Hashemite, worked very hard to promote the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. When she visited my school in Istanbul, we would not know about it and we would not know how and why to celebrate it. I think it is the responsibility of governments and ambassadors to bring awareness of these days to the countries. Also, it is the responsibility of United Nations officials to follow the steps of Princess Dr. Nesrin and Rajit and visit schools to talk to us about environment, science, ending poverty, equality, climate changes, and renewable energies. Today, I am here to share my vision on promoting Girls for Girls in Science and the importance of science in development and the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Science plays an important role in our daily lives. The internet, computers, medicine, transportation, all rely on science. To end hunger and poverty and to reduce all the inequalities among people and to produce renewable energy requires science. I am very proud of my country, Turkey. It, it is one that has many women in science who are co uh, contributing to development, whether they are doctors or other scientists, or teachers of science or engineers. I am sure there are women in science in every country, but no one hears about these women or their contributions to the world. Through research, I found that almost no one can name a woman in science or her invention or contribution to peace and development. They will only mention Mary Curie. How will girls choose science as a career if they see no role models in science? I think we need positive media stories about successful women in science through media and to be taught about women in science in schools. I would like to take this opportunity to mention the issue of women and girls who are refugees. Among them are women in science who no longer have a career in science. I call on everyone to remember them and help them. Last year, my colleague Prince Zain al Hashemite, in his speech, uh, in his speech, asked all boys and men to make a pledge to support girls and women in science. I am the first girl for girls spokesperson for Regis. My first activity for Rajit is to start a viral campaign for spreading knowledge through education about girls in science in support of sustainable development. I was hoping that the PGA will be here when I speak to ask him to make the first pledge. Well, he made it verbally, so I ask you, so I ask you all officials, ambassadors and everyone to make a pledge. I support girls in science. Please help me spread this pledge around the world and use, uh, use the Twitter hashtag girls for girls or at girls for girls in science. I will leave you with one thought. Take the vision and wisdom from women scientists, given the fact that I will be a future woman in science. Take the vision and wisdom from me. Happy International Day of Women and Girls in Science. Thank you for your attention. Thank 
Thank you so much, Talia. You give us a lot of hope for the future. Thank you so much. Thank